It's time for some pirate rise. Start ganking into this bottom sign. There is no Lee Sin there. He is up counter jungling at top. There's the flash W. Wisdom's here. He's going to punish that flash immediately. Song Yoon goes down for first blood for Wisdom. That was some great patience, actually. We've learned anything is that Ryze does incredible damage, even in a 1v2 scenario. And there's Song Yoon gets caught again, nailed by the Tibber as Snowflower. I mean, Nikki also really hasn't even missed any CS yet, we can see right there, doing incredibly well in that lane. And he's dueling here against Wisdom. Wisdom follow, but the Q misses. They're going to re-engage, actually. There's the ultimate from Victor. They're going in aggressively. Mickey's going to pick up the kill, but at what cost? Probably going to live the spell shield. Dies. Ixu teleports in and going to get aggressed on actually here. And there's the Tibbers as well. Ixu under the turret does body slam out. I think it's plain to see across the board that the level of champions has gone up this season. A lot of the teams have gotten a lot better as oh. we miss off screen what we can only assume was an instant pick. Yeah, face checked. Doesn't and have Tibbers though. Doesn't have bolts. But will that matter? There's the continued W spam, though, that's going to go down. Flash for the chain, and that's going to be it. Sure, you could knock away the Annie, but that doesn't really help you not get CC'd by Smeb. And stack water ages, and Callista gets damage. And this is probably not much. Oh, my. Smeb coming in from a flank, actually. Used his CB not to the turret, but just to go after Sanyu. What a bold play. Ward, and goodbye, Sanyu. It that wasn't was that, easy. It wasn't that bold, Monte Cristo. <laughs> he has the targeted CC. It's already level 5, so of course, long enough to hit up point blank Q got better. They spam the solo Q, their mechanics are on point. Suddenly, laning phase no longer a big disadvantage. So we could see the engage. Uh, Prey actually going to get ignited on the side. Mickey may take him out. Gorilla actually finds himself under the tower. Prey makes it out. Somehow, he's going to turn it around and take down a full HP Mickey with the help of Kuro. But that is one for two in favor of Anarchy. These are the sort of trades that definitely Favor the scaling teams. That's good picks coming through. But Smeb's still really healthy. We're going to see the engage from Snowfire. Goes into the back line. Smeb's still alive. We've seen Rises turn this around, but dies. And Callista has consistent damage. This is a big team fight win for Anarchy. Absolutely. They find the pick on the side there. Smeb getting kicked into a wall by Lyra for maximum. It looks like Anarchy don't have the vision to be able to compete, but they're at least going to have a look. Yeah, they're going to get some damage onto Kuro. There's the explosive cast. Kuro, or Gorilla rather, has some flash backwards. Mickey on the flank. They're going to try and burn him down with the Chaos Storm. Flash from Wisdom. There's the Boomerang Blade over the wall. Snowflower gets the engage. And now the death rays really start coming through. Smeb is dead. Prey is moving forward. They need to kill Sonyun. They're going to get Sonyun. Lyra with a double kill, though. And this should be cleanup for the Tigers now that they have the victor still up. Prey Seeker, not enough. There's the slow. Will Wisdom get another tunnel? The answer is negative. And three for three, even trade, despite being 5,000 gold behind kids at the raves, Monte Cristo. <laughs> um, that's not appropriate for on air. Fair. <laughs> All right, TP, Smeb with the home guards. They want the flank, they want the engage. What can they catch right here? They're able to zone off two members. And there's a W, he actually gets on to Kalista. Goodbye, Sung Yoon. Oh, smoked right there. Didn't have flash, no way to get out. So they get the pick. Uh oh, bye, Mickey. Never mind. <laughs> and that's why you don't use melee champions to clear wards. He was actually clearing a wreck side tunnel. So, <laughs> five gold or your life. I don't know quite about the exchange rate there, and this should be another turret. The wave clear is not there from Anarchy. They might try a desperation engage, but it's risky. And there you go. Ixu gets locked immediately, put in the rune prison, and he'll die there. Song Yoon as well. Lots of prison deaths this game. And they're just going to push forward. It's really weird engage in a 5v4 scenario against Ryze, who has that targeted regular CC. They're at minimum going to lose their inhibitor in a situation where Anakin just backed away and lost an out of turret. Yep, inhibitor down, Ku moves into total control of this game. How much are they going to go for right here? They have 20 seconds. They get another tower. I don't think they're going to get much more than that. Snowflower just gets it destroyed. Clean win, taking out every objective. Lyric actually going to kick Wisdom back. Wisdom flashes. There's the lightning party, but it's too late. Gorilla gets a, a counter tippers down, and this is the part where everyone on Anarchy dies. Even Vicky. Goodbye.
Not quite enough Riftworks there. Very nice win from Koo. Very clean game. There was a 10-minute period where Anarchy had a chance, and that's probably a significant thing given how the first 10 minutes went for Koo in the end. Yeah, they're looking for it. They want to get it. They're going to flash W. Okay, goodbye. She opens up a lot of space. Can Koro chase with the flash? He definitely can. Well played by Wisdom and first blood to Koo. Uh, they, it's obviously a very long season. We're not even halfway through yet. And here we go. There's a flash play. Gorilla going to get the stun off, though. Wisdom is there lurking. And he's going to get a big, big slow, but not before Lyra. And Song Yu net the kill onto a squishy little Annie. Cinder completed, so it's a Skirmisher Saber and a Ruby Crystal only for him. I'd be pretty disappointed with Smeb if I saw oh. OX who oh. face checks. A lot of CC and damage. Flashes away. Is it going to be enough? Doesn't look like it. Looks like he's inevitably going to fall here. The kill credit goes over to Wisdom. Probably could have given it to Prey, but might have had to use a summoner to pick it up. He's very slippery. He's able to skip past the small amount of CC available. That's the flash from Gorilla onto Snowflowers. Just for the stun, doesn't have access to Tibbers, but Snowflowers, squishy. They knew he didn't have the flash. And Wisdom, it's another celebratory cask for his third kill of the game. <laughs> well. I don't mind the Fizz in this situation, barring, of course, the laning weaknesses that it brings. Yeah, and that, like I said, that's, that's one of my major issues with it. I just think that, oh, goodbye. Well, that looks a lot like last game. I think it was a bit of a missed opportunity. I think they could have killed the LeBlanc or chunked her out, and it would have been worthwhile. But instead, here comes some damage down onto Wisdom, the Sigil of Malice. And Dragon goes to Gragas. TP onto the Lantern, however. And they're just going to collapse onto Lyra. Bray gets tied up in the back line with the Twisted Bench. Flashes into the choke point, though. There is the actual W out of the fight. Snowflower now gets focused down by Smeb. Everyone's so low except for Ixu. And Smeb gonna have to run. Kuro comes in with a W and then the Q to take him out. Ixu just getting burned down and tag teamed by a variety of members of Ku. And there you go. One more Sheen here. Uh, it's gonna get slowed by the sapling and then the Arcane Smash, but Wisdom, he's got enough to tie him up here. But that's gonna be a kill to Wisdom instead of onto a bigger threat closes in so on the final half of that item. Let's guess. Educated guess is going to be Zonya's second coming through for Cassidy. Diving into the back line, then a really tanky Fizz as well. Smep's caught out. Hasn't used Playful Tricks yet. Uses it now. Still gets hit by the chains, but no one has died. And Gorilla jumped on immediately, but Cor Corky really doing a lot of damage with the Gat in that choke point right there. Prey totally protected as Smep comes through. Four for one. They got Gorilla, but not before he dropped the Tibbers, so it didn't really matter. Double Sheen procs, whether it's the Sheen from Fizz or the Trinity Force means the turret is not long for this world. They're looking really aggressive. It's a really aggressive use of the ultimate, but there's the re-engage. And here we go. Smeb has to start auto-attacking Ixu at the front side. Kuro is already all over Snowflower and Mickey in the back. Zonya's popped and Song Yoon finds him all alone against Smeb and Prey. The fight broken up. And that's one of those situations where this Cassidy and this, and how are you going to stop the split push from Fizz either is a, is a big question. But to me, this is okay. As Wisdom gets grabbed right there, nearly bursts it down. He does die at the end. Now it's going to be a 5v4. Ixu going to catch Bray. But Bray Valkyrie's back out. They burn down Ixu with the help of the fish. And here's the big reversal coming around with the help of Bray. And Kuro uses that rip walk, gets the force pulse, and now. On the outside, Kuro just wants to back off. Mickey wants the one kill. Zonia's baited, though, and Mickey will pay Kuro. Well, I, I, yeah, I think this is just a symptom of the Koo Tigers being so far ahead that any complaints that we have about their composition as Wisdom wave clears with his ultimate are rather moot. Has to flash. Takes Ixu. advance, comes on. Lyra's around as well. They don't think they have the damage here, though, and Smeb does damage and is super tanky. Doesn't matter. Turns out you're not tanky to five people. Yeah, you shut it, he gets shut down, but amazingly he takes Snowflower with him, finds the squishiest target. Wisdom doesn't have ult to actually finish this fight now. He's getting a little silly for the time. In this game, probably not gonna be punished too hard. Uh, Ixu going in, but he is just melted as he's focused down by all the damage dealers from Ku. Lyra 
the second to fall, and there's a, a very aggressive foul board. Coordinate with the ripwalk. Death sentence gonna miss, and Snowflower destroyed for the double kill. Kuro wants three, he gets three as they finish out this game. Super Minions there to assist, and so is Smeb after TPing in. This will be an easy win, a cakewalk for the Koo Tigers. And Monty, in the second half of this first round, the Koo Tigers have rampaged through, I believe, four teams it is now. So.